In order to post a new solicitation, you'll navigate to the Manage Solicitation tab and then click Add at the top. This will bring you to the blank solicitation screen that's broken into four steps that must be completed in order. In the first box, you'll fill out your customer reference number. This is usually a PO number of some sort. The system assigned identifier number is automatically generated. You won't put anything in this box. The solicitation title is the most general of descriptions that you'll be putting in here. Just a high level overview of what the job is. In the description field, however, you'll want to be a little more specific. You only have 250 characters, but this is the information that the vendor will read when they get the notification that will help them decide if it's worth their time to log in and take a look at it or if it's completely outside the scope of their business. Solicitation type. This is where you choose from any of these choices. Open or selective. An open bid will be viewable to anybody on the bid calendar. It will only be sent to those people you indicate you want to send it to, but anyone can log in and search for it and find it. Selective solicitation is effectively the same thing, but it will generate a text box that will allow you to input text saying you are only eligible to bid on this if you meet certain criteria. That might be a prequal list or something of that nature. But both of them will allow the bid to be viewable on the bid calendar. The posting date will default to the date you click post. The inactive date is the date that the solicitation will fall off the bid calendar. It falls off the bid calendar at 11.59 p.m. on the date you choose. So if we say that we want it to fall off the bid calendar on February 27th, 2010. Even if the bids are due at 2 p.m. on this day, which you would indicate in your bid document later on, it will still be on the web for another few hours. Your contact name defaults to the name assigned on the account for you. You can, however, post on behalf of other people, so I can change this if I want. contact phone number also defaults as well as the email address. You can also put the estimated value field in here. It is optional however but some folks do find it helpful in showing the scope of work. If you're using American Recovery and Reinvestment Act funding you can click this box here. The organization name defaults to your agency and cannot be changed and that is step one of posting a solicitation.